Hey, it's Coach with Tactical Hive out here on the range. And today I wanna to talk to you guys about fighting from a vehicle. If you're in a vehicle and you have mobility, you should keep going when you can't go anymore. If you're pinned, whatever, the vehicle can't go, you need to be able to fight from that vehicle and you don't wanna stay on the X. We'll call this the X, because once, once you've stopped, you're now vulnerable. You're pinned to that position and you know, rounds are gonna start coming your way. All right, so the first thing you wanna consider is how you wear a seatbelt, okay? Right? Because you should always be wearing your seatbelt. This is gonna keep you safe in the, the initial crash, if there is a crash. But instead of having it here like it's designed, if I open, if I hit the button and get out, this could potentially trap me in the vehicle. So, real simple solution, just push it down over here like this. It'll still keep you in. Most cars have airbags, it'll take care of that, most of that, that upward body movement anyway. So now, when I have to get out, I reach across, you can glance down, hit that big red button, and now the seatbelt's gonna retract and I'm free. Now, if I'm gonna, if I choose to address the person, or the threat, from inside the vehicle, I'm gonna rock forward, I'm gonna grab onto this steering wheel. Again, we're, the vehicle's stationary for whatever reason. It can't move or I can't move for it. So I'm not moving anymore. I'm gonna rock forward, draw this gun up, and just trace it around. I can place two hands on her, I can press it. You want it up against contact on the windshield. Not so much that it push, pushes it out of battery, but you wanna create a wound channel with your first couple of shots. You know. It's nine mils gonna go through that windshield, and if the threat is fairly close, chances are you'll hit him. But it's not as guaranteed, right? So you, you're gonna take a few shots, put that hole through your windshield, and then start taking good aim shots through there, and those will be clean, okay? That's if your threat's to the front. This is before you get out of the car. Remember, we're pinned in the car. We are on the X at this point. So the four different cardinal directions I have to deal with is straight ahead, so that's how you're gonna deal with that one. Now, sideways, you're gonna bring it up and just gonna punch the gun straight out using the steering wheel to brace yourself. Braces, get as steady as you possibly can, push down with your feet, grab that steering wheel, and address whatever threat you have here. Coming across, you don't wanna sweep this gun across your legs. So you're just gonna trace it across the steering wheel, right across here, and then you can come in and take your shots, okay? Window open, window closed, doesn't matter, the bullet's gonna go through. Okay, now, addressing th something from the rear, once you've identified it, you're gonna draw that gun straight up and then punch it straight back and then roll it over. So again, just bring the gun straight up and push back like this. You can shoot a gun upside down, it's no big deal. Grab onto this steering wheel, use the steering wheel, pull your ass around and get the best angle you can so you can address threats from the rear. Now, that's while I'm here, but I don't wanna stay here. I wanna get out. So we're getting out. I'm gonna punch out. I've got, I've got rid of my seatbelt. I'm pushing out. Again, hold, keeping the gun. We don't wanna sweep ourselves at any point. So pushing the door open, sweep through. Now, wherever the threat is, I don't know, in, in whatever scenario, but if the threat is over on that side or to the rear, you wanna to go to the opposite side of the car as much as possible. Yeah, obviously, right? You wouldn't consider a, a car to be cover. A car, is concealment at best. This door will may slow down a nine mil. This A pillar might soak one up all, all together, but it's not reliable. So you don't wanna stick to the car if there's better cover someplace else. Even if just you moving, keeping the car between you, whatever you gotta do at that point is, is egress from the vehicle. So again, to recap, if the vehicle is moving, you're moving, you're good, keep moving. If the vehicle becomes stationary, you need to keep moving. A mobile target is a lot harder to hit than a stationary one. So you practice, again, just basic drills, you know, knowing where you, how to get to your garment, you know, sit in the car that you're gonna be driving. Use the seatbelt the way I showed you, okay? And just understand that you don't wanna stay on that X. Once you're out, keep moving, find some cover. All right, we can't cover every situation right here, but the one thing you don't wanna do is stay right there. So as always, if you like this content, like, subscribe, and leave me a comment.